What's good, everybody? This is Dev the Coolest. And this is Ray Bay. And this is JB. And, and welcome, welcome to Slick, Slick Talk. Talk. Hey, hey, lit, it lit. I always say that, Ooh. I know. Hey, With the hashtag. Hey, lit, lit. What? What? I said it's a lit. It lit. <laughs> it lit. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome back, y'all. We want to address some myths that are out there surrounding the gay community. Yeah. Or the queer community for men. Yes. For men. Uh, yeah, because I'm sure there's different or, or more myths for women. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say more, but different myths for women in the queer community than it is for men. So we yeah. just wanted to talk about that, you know, kind of have a, a teachable moment right now mm-hmm. with everybody. Um, and we hope that, you, that you're receptive and you understand. If you have any questions, as we always say, definitely post them in the comments and we will respond. We're going we gonna to start a little light because obviously I there are going to be some like some heavy topics some sex yeah. and stuff so <laughs> we're going we're going to start a little we're going to start light and the first myth that we sh- we should address gay men are attracted to all men and can't control their desires ooh child nope. to all men like <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to, all, to all men really that's what that's it's really that's, it's like, funny as fuck when i hear that because i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> and then spe- i mean it's funny as fuck hearing that in general but to hear specific dudes like really believe that yeah you know what i'm saying right they, that, and i feel like that's why they get uncomfortable around gay men because they feel like yeah. oh you hitting on me child if a, if a sis ain't hitting on you you what, what makes you think i'm gonna hit on you <laughs> and not even that shit <laughs> <laughs> right, like, system, I mean, it don't have nothing to do with a system with a, either, you like, right but, but don't flatter do yourself right. you know what I'm saying don't flatter yourself if, no. I can control my desires very much yeah. so what do you think I come from I don't know yeah I don't it know. definitely just, I mean, obviously there are people in our community. We can't take away from the fact there mm. are people in the community that are thirsty as fuck. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like there are certain few that are thirsty as fuck that put out this, you know, this idea that, you know, we're into every mm. dude and everything because like, they just don't care and they mm. come ac- they come on to other dudes. So I do believe that has a part to do with it. Yeah. But then I also have believe that just dudes in general don't really know who we are yeah. um, as, you know, gay men. They probably don't know who they are oh no, that, that's a part two <laughs> that is that is a exactly. whole episode right there exactly <laughs> so being that they don't know how we are and how our community operates they automatically just go to the assumption that oh this dude likes dudes so automatically he may like me as well just because he likes dudes but mm-hmm. you have to understand that just because we like dudes we also have standards right and, <laughs> and they we don't, know how to control our right, desires and we know how to control our desires preferences and our standards go way beyond your 5, 6, 265 pound ass oh my god Shut, so, not 5, um, 6 you, go you could go ahead and cancel Ooh. that out sis damn we're not fat shaming by the way or height shaming, because I'm short. If y'all didn't know, I said that before. I'm five I'm seven. Politically, I think I'm gonna be the Kanye West on this show, child. You already I'm not are. About to be, I'm not about to be politically well, correct. Wait, I'm not muting I'm not, you. I'm definitely I'm not, not shading anybody. You. I'm not shading anybody. You say well, I'm not I'm fuck you up. Up. I'm not about to be politically correct. <laughs> but I am short. Now, what? What? I should have said this at the beginning. There obviously are going to be people that fall into these categories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we also want to make it a point to that you all know that this is just, it's not the general community. We're not not monolithic. Um, Gay men are not relationship oriented. (laughs) We're very, we can't, we can't stick with one person for the rest of our life. Completely not true. Completely not true. Um, I think I've always been relationship oriented. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even if I'm going to date somebody long term, Mm -hmm. it's, you have to give me the standards of a future husband right mm-hmm. away. and So you looking. you. I mean, you're not looking, no, but you're like, no, no. if you were dating, like you would actively I, I, seek I out. I am mm-hmm. currently dating you're someone in a and I'm only yeah. in a relationship because I see potential for right. marriage. Right. Yeah. But um, I think after you pass like, you're like 19, 20, you realize, okay, maybe this is not like the fairy tale you thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. And you have to start researching like really what people's, you know, that's 19, what you that, desire. 19, 20 is a little young. That is a little young. That's <laughs> a little <laughs> shaky for me. Because I'm like, you giving the benefit of the doubt to the 19 year old and 20 year old. 20, the 20s is the time to be a hoe. I'm not, I'm not even going to front. But I, nobody's even looking at <laughs> a bigger picture at 20 years old. But they are really not. I'm not taking, I'm not taking the. 
the point in a way that. Well, I'm just saying like everybody's different because I was. No, different. everybody is. Yeah, everybody's different. different. I don't know. That's that's you know that's a teeter totter for me. You know, because yeah. I've you know obviously I'm living the the gay lifestyle and mm-hmm. I run into people all the time that are are not relationship oriented. I mean, yeah. I I know eventually I can. I mean, and speaking for myself, you know, there's times when I'm not relationship oriented and people are always you know, in our community do jump in and mm-hmm. out of relationships. Mm-hmm. So we are having this conversation on myths and everything, but, you know, obviously we're going to keep it real. Like, like, some are not myths. Know, some are not myths. So that like one said, for me every, is, a, is a, yeah. it's literally a, titter, a teeter-totter for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well I wanted to clarify so. a little bit. I mean, I was single for a very long time because I never really saw anyone that I want to settle down with. Mm-hmm. And if I don't see, it, it has to go past potential to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm not trying to make this like a relationship episode, but... <laughs> What, I mean, that's exactly, what, we're talking about what right I'm now, saying so. is like I know a lot of people that think like me like we yeah. we do want to find someone but we also know not to settle so we do stay single for a very long time mm-hmm. because truthfully your mind doesn't get to understand mm-hmm. people till mm-hmm. you get to a certain age yeah yeah and I think you, you really hit you hit a really good uh point when you said that a lot of people are single because they're not settling yeah it's not so much that they're not relationship oriented it's like I'm not going to settle for anything that walks across my lawn exactly you know yeah. like because everybody's not going to be relationship oriented and you're going to come across those people and if you are relationship oriented and you're looking for that one and mm-hmm. they're not it's like Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I have to wait for the next one to come up. Yeah. So, um, oh, I like this one. So, male homosexuality is caused by parenting or trauma in childhood. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, can I address this real quick? Uh, you Please. can. You better. Well, I mean, you here on just, the on the episode. I just want to start first. That's why I was asking <laughs> like that. Uh, I do want to say, and not to put, you know, not to put my mom on blast. Mm-hmm. Love her dearly, but come on, a uh, preface. Yeah, I got to give the preface because it's like <laughs> <laughs> it was annoying after a while when mm-hmm. I had first like we had our first conversation of my sexuality and what I you know how I got down and everything like that. Me being a gay man, mm-hmm. and like one of the questions was, um, "Were you touched? Did anybody touch you?" Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like. I mean, not that I know. Like, I can't remember. I mean, and I'm the type of person, if somebody was to touch me when I was young, I was going to snitch. Right. I was definitely running to somebody and telling saying them. Something. And I was saying something. So, mm-hmm. whereas she was comfortable with asking that question, I know that there are other people, you know, in my family mm-hmm. and even in our community in general mm-hmm. that have that question. Like, they did somebody directly touch to you? That. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where you right. molested no. and everything yeah. like that. And it's just like... We definitely need to expand our minds right. and know Very that true. this is bigger. Right. You know, not to take away from that. Because like, that, that. some people have like, were molested yeah. as children, but yeah. that's that. They were, there are some straight men that were molested yeah. by other men Absolutely. as children. So for people to feel like we're gay because we were touched as children is not fair, nor definitely is it not t- true for yeah. the majority. It's definitely you know? not. That's really unfair. It's like people need to find people don't understand that you're different mm-hmm. and they can't wrap their, mi- their minds around it so they have to find a reason why you are the way you are mm-hmm. it's like simple biology is not it hey a lot of people just are gay just yeah. because right exactly. I, I was never touched you know as a child and my parents were as strict as hell mm-hmm. <laughs> with regard to raising me and not so much trying I, to make me straight, but we grew up very religious. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, that goes without saying. And I also want to say that if there was someone that, if there, I mean, I'm sure there are people that were touched and end up that changed probably their sexuality or, you mm-hmm. know, it, it made them who mm-hmm. they are. There, that's, there's nothing wrong with them as well. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they are the victim. And we shouldn't shame and them. And, you know, yeah, we definitely shouldn't shame them for that. Actually, they're not the victim. I take that back. They're the survivor. Right. You know, and they are who they are right now but right. we can't shame them and we can't ask these questions in our community and all around the world ask these questions with negative connotations behind yeah. it you know you're what I'm making saying? being gay you're, Something, uh, you're making that synonymous with yeah, being yeah. raped being raped and it, or molested yeah. and that's a, obviously a very bad thing yeah so well although i did start early i was not touch right and it was somebody around the same age as you too. Well, no it definitely was somebody the same age as me. <laughs> I don't play those type of games. Okay. I wonder if it's a it's a component of them trying to understand something that's so. different from them. I think so. You know, yeah. like w- what didn't happen to me 
that may have happened to them for yeah. them to come out the way that they did or, you know, mm-hmm. be attracted to what they're attracted to. Um, but speaking on that, uh, pedophilia, gay men can't be trusted around male children. Ooh, child. <laughs> That is the Ooh, child. that is one of the the biggest ones that I've heard. Like Ooh, ch- <laughs> I wish somebody would throw that at me or say anything about that in my direction. Yeah, it's like they feel like all gay men like prey on children. Yeah, because they feel like since we may have been molested as children, we will do that to children when mm, we're older. Yeah, you know, even if it, if one inside beats the other, other than yeah, scoot yeah. than the other, it still doesn't negate the fact that that doesn't have majority, you know, that's a huge misconception yeah. and a huge... All these grown men out here... Listen. Attractive, First handsome, all, everything, <laughs> and gay. Don't have I don't have to prey on the straight hey, man. There and is gay. plenty. There are we're out here. So <laughs> I don't you know what I'm man, saying? Like we don't need no kids. That's sick. That, that is, is really, really <laughs> sick. And if anybody implied that towards me or said anything, we fight. Like that, we fight. It. It's on site. You listen. On you get in these hands. All four of them. <laughs> Taking my backpack off. <laughs> I mean, it is like one of this is that's one of the myths that makes me the most angry because yeah. it's, mm. that's something that makes you so self aware. Like you mm. are cautious around people and their kids because you don't know if they think that about you. Right. Mm-hmm. And it makes you so angry because I love kids. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I have. Whole bunch of nieces and nephews. Yes. My family's always yes. having kids. Mm. <laughs> you know, right. your brother just you had just one. Have one. Mother. <laughs> two, two, two. Yes. One from each brother. See. But so like fifty kids, and they're, they're they keep asking me when I'm gonna be a dad too. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know yet. But um, Boo, it's well, I can't wait till our three of us have kids. But anyway, go I think uh, <laughs> when it comes to the question of you know game like the morality around you know gay men and, and women, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's one of the deciding factors for people. And it pisses me off. It's like, yeah. I am a human being. Right. Um, I believe in, you know, consent. Mm-hmm. And I know that I like men. Mm. I like men. Like <laughs> men. Older. Grown, hairy. Yes. Grown men. Thank you. With dreads. And nah, all that. I don't even like people. I don't, I don't even like dating people. I like a peen bigger than six and a half inches. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. He just went deep Sorry. with it. No, like, even when I was dating, I never liked dating people that were younger than me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love me a daddy. Okay. I feel that. You know what they're doing. And that's a huge separation from a child. So let's just go ahead and cancel that because it's a huge separation from a child and a daddy. <laughs> okay. Oh, daddy, 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 daddy. Two gay men. This is another, I guess, myth. Two men, gay men as a couple can't raise healthy and happy children. I mean, I personally, I, I believe in myself and I believe yeah. that if anybody I become mm-hmm. in a relationship with that um, I'm, responsible, I'm responsible enough to choose someone that is able to bring up a child responsible and mm-hmm. healthy and everything like that. Um, but what I will say is that I don't personally know people mm-hmm. that have, but I'm sure, I mean, we're uh, sometimes there's gay couples that are more, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, what responsible and mm-hmm. handle their business and, and good people mm-hmm. as opposed to straight relationships that are bringing up kids. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, just at the end of the day, these are two people, two human beings. So whether they're gay or straight, mm-hmm. you can't, place whether they're responsible or if the child's going to be healthy based upon their relationship or their sexuality together. Yeah. You know, I mean, just base it upon the person themselves, I not mean, with their sexuality. We just got the right to marry not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember celebrating it. So mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for um, gay men who have children, like, you don't even have the years of study. But what I would say is that for gay people, we grew up in this world with a lot of self awareness, mm-hmm. which I think like a lot of people don't have. That's a great point. Um, yeah. When they they become adults and have children, mm-hmm. and also we get to pick exactly. when to be fathers. That's very true. Right. Therefore, yeah. we have when to we're ready for it. <laughs> exactly. We we sacrifice a lot of money for it. Uh-huh. Exactly. You know. So I feel like people are more mature. Yeah. And they're ready to. You know, to be able to be sacrifice for another exactly. human being. That's a great point. Um, great a points. lot of people that are parents weren't ready for it. And so I don't want to say where those myths come from because you have no statistics to back it. But again, we live in Trump's America. So. I mean, they probably just came up from people that believe that two gay men or a gay uh, couple 
uh, shouldn't have kids. Yes. Those are stuff that oh, people yes. are putting out that from yeah. people that believe that they shouldn't have. Oh, this is what happens. They can't they raise need a, a man child. Or a woman. They need like, a man. Or they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That type of stupid stuff. It definitely came out from those type of people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but it is definitely ridiculous. And I trust when, you know, Ray's the only one in a relationship right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm fully confident that if you and your partner ever bring a child in, like, they're going to be surrounded by so much love and mm-hmm. artistry. We hear. <laughs> you know, intelligence and blackness mm-hmm. and. I can't wait to you see that. You make it sound like I'm married already. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you might you as damn well be. Near the fuck? <laughs> Shit, you might as well you be married. As well. I don't see the ring. Listen. Come on, hint, wink, hint. wink. And that hint, hint gonna go out the window. No, <laughs> not out the window. <laughs> wink, wink, hint, hint. <laughs> clap, clap. He was like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't even hear that episode." You got six months, <laughs> right? I didn't hear that one. Do y'all have any myths that y'all can think of, or that y'all heard, or that black men can't be bisexual? I mean, the men can be bisexual, or hmm. yeah, like yeah. you gotta be either or. Yeah. What do you think about? Or you're on the road to or something. <laughs> I think generally, I think that's an issue within the gay community. Like that's a stereotype that we have within the gay community. Like if you like men, that you you can't like women. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, that's what a bisexual person has to deal with. It's yeah. like on both sides, like on the straight side and the gay side. It's like, well, if you tell a straight woman that you like men, they're like, oh, well, you, I can't do it. You know, yeah. like you like men, like you get fucked. Yeah. And then on the gay side, it's like, well, no, if you like men, you only like men. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's true. It does go. I mean, I but, actually had yeah. that, you know, that same kind of idea was hard for me to grapple with uh, people in our community, guys that were saying that they were bisexual. Mm -hmm. Um, Even though, I mean, at a point in my life, like, I was unsure. But I think it was mostly with me. I was unsure whether I liked females or males. Mm -hmm. But deep down inside, I knew that I liked males more. Mm -hmm. I was just, I just knew that it was socially acceptable to like females. So I was trying Mm -hmm. to force myself to do that. But for how you live your life or what you believe in, it is up to you. It's not, it's not for me to speculate Mm -hmm. on that at all. And it's definitely not for somebody not even in the community, in community that has no idea, you know, not even a close idea um, to speculate or or try to discredit somebody that says that they're like that. That's what the B stands for an LGBTQ right. bisexual so it, like it's it's a real thing and men and women can be bisexual yeah I think yeah. um it really stops a lot of men from expressing expressing their actual you know sexuality mm-hmm. because people that are insecure about it make assumptions and also create these ideas around it mm-hmm. um yeah I get it like you feel like you got to compete with two different sides now, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's all about trusting your partner. If somebody's into you and they're expressing that they love you, mm-hmm. it don't matter what their sexuality is. Right. You just got to, like, be about them, not yeah. think about who you're competing exactly. against. At the end of the day, if you feel you like you got to compete. Right, if you feel like you have to compete for that person's love in the first, you just <laughs> shouldn't be with them in the first place. Absolutely. You shouldn't yeah. have to compete with anyone, no yeah. matter their orientation, yeah. gay, straight, bisexual, Asexual. Yeah. I mean, if they were asexual, they probably wouldn't be in a relationship. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you shouldn't feel like you have to compete. I do feel for, you know, bisexual people out here, especially the men, it's more accepted mm-hmm. for women. However, with men, it's like this view that it's against masculinity yeah. right, to be attracted to men. De- therefore, they don't express themselves. So people will hide it, you know, mm-hmm. and they will just go on and dating one side because they don't want to be shunned. But mm-hmm. I know I've, I've met bisexual people and listened to their sides and their frustration with the gay community and the straight community, mm-hmm. and it's completely valid. All gay men are feminine. <sighs> no. Lord, I'm mercy. <laughs> to me and my partner. <laughs> I hang out with nothing but girls. <laughs> right. That, that falls in line with that, too. We hang out with nothing but women. Meanwhile, there's three men sitting here talking. And exactly. Like, and we're friends. And it's right. weird. I can't even. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could just. I mean, there's times where I wish I could just hang out with girls and just, like, have it just be, like, cool and every. But every time I hang out with all girls, it's kind of, like, awkward for me. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not, really even super, <laughs> I'm not yeah. even super masculine, but it's just, like, I personally, it's, like, always kind of a little mm-hmm. awkward for me or I kind of feel, like, you know, not in the, the picture. Right. You know. And I, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, I do have. Have, um, I do have a lot of I do have a lot of women friend, but I'm very picky. Come about on, my women, women friend. friend. Yeah, uh-huh. because 
What? <laughs> Just, what? Uh, Shut up. Uh, you have a lot of, oh, you said what? <laughs> women friend. You have a lot of women friend? Friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was confused. I'm like, English wait, wait a minute. English is a second language. Okay. No, I, I, I choose not to say females. No, 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 no we're not talking about that. A friend as in friend oh, being okay. singular versus plural. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a red I was going to say something. Um, I'll keep it I that. do have a lot of women friends, but mm. I'm picky because I don't like Oop. to hang out with women that treat me like their gay mas- mascot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. do that because if you don't see me as a human being, if I'm like the prop in your little friend yeah. circle because mm-hmm. you had to have your token gay, we're not going to be friends. Right. Yeah. Right. If it's not genuine. And I also yeah. want to touch on the first part of the question. I have a like, friend like that. You do? I feel like I have a friend like you just said right now. Like you're the token. That like the token mm-hmm. gay and everything and I'm like hidden, you know, but it's cute to like talk with me and be like Kiki Gaga and like, oh you right. you guys conversation make me laugh so much. Um, bitch, I'm way more than that. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah. and you know who you are. Ooh, bloopity, go. smackity, cook, Shots cook. Fired. I mean, pow, pow, Shots pow. Fired. Bloom, bloom, boom, yeah. boom. Ga, 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 ga. I, the question I really do have, why are they still your friend? Exactly. Ooh, boom, mm-hmm. And we, smooch. you know, that's being, that's Ooh. really definitely being, uh, you know, considered because, again, when people show you who they are, believe, believe them. them. Mm. And I'm too old to be acting like I don't see who they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just to try to keep the friendship keep going. The friendship Anyways, going. Go but I do want to go to back to the first part of the question of like all gay men are feminine. Mm-hmm. I think no, that's the answer is no, not all gay men are feminine. Mm-hmm. Um for me, it's easier to be in touch with my feminine side though. Yeah. yeah. Being a gay man. Yeah. Like I think I don't have the the confinement of having to portray myself as over masculine because I am someone that likes men. Exactly. So I can actually like be a little bit more in touch with my feminine side. I can trade up whenever I need Come to. Come on, trade up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I feel like right we've now. all Give done me some it. Trade. Don't don't put me on Give the spot. Give me some trade. What's good, bruh? Oh, come Ooh. on, bro. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I've been in so many situations. Not to like a sidebar. I've been in so many situations where Debra, me and Debra be kiki and Lala talk about sis, this, this, that. Which we, I mean, we joke around when we yeah. say this or it's sis and everything. Right. But that was the question somebody had that. too. But yeah. Go ahead, I'm sorry. And then and somebody would call it and be like, what's going on? Hello? What's Hello? good? Hello? What's good? <laughs> Nothing shit. Just chilling. I'm just chilling. Where you at? I'm like, what the hell? Who is this new person? <laughs> but it cracks Are you, me up. Are you coming through tonight? Cold, okay, for cold sure. Cold switching. <laughs> right. <laughs> for sure. Let me go Let me go fleet real quick. Oh, come on. <laughs> Damn. Let me go fleet. I would never quick. say that on the phone, but it's That the might truth. turn a nigga on, no. Like, no, don't fleet. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to have a paint party. Uh, <laughs> paint in the town. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so um, saying, okay, we definitely just be. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but no, all gay men are not feminine, and it's yeah, 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 and definitely men. not. I think a lot of men I have around me that are gay. Sometimes people are shocked that they are gay. It's mm-hmm. yeah. like this, this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like gay men don't just. Come with purses, yeah. <laughs> not purses. <laughs> what else yeah. do they think? I swear, my family said just don't come around in Thanksgiving with a person uh-huh. in heels. I said you what? should do it. What? Just <laughs> shut him up. You know I would. You be. <laughs> I said, have you seen my play? Yes. My play? Okay. <laughs> but that was but, just a play. But that was a play. It was a character. That was hilarious. No, anyway. but absolutely. I actually like. <laughs> to be honest with you, I actually like because I'm not. I'm not like overly masculine, but I'm not overly, I'm not really feminine as mm-hmm. well. But I like going into settings just being my natural self. Mm-hmm. And then pe- when I am unapologetically, I mean, unapologetically, unapologetically you know, gay mm-hmm. and I talk about who I am, mm-hmm. that they're kind of like surprised. And I'm like, I love that because yeah. it opens their mind to know that not everybody is going to come in here in heels and switching and talking <laughs> hella, you know, gay yeah. or whatever you and this think is no, it is. We're not, we're no, not, no, no, yeah, it's no shade. Yeah. Cause I mean, those people, you know, have a voice and they are who exactly. they are, but just don't think but that don't you could just put mm-hmm. one type of image mm-hmm. on gay. Yeah. Cause we're very, just like you said, monolithic. We come we're in not, all yeah. different types Wait, of we are? everything. We're not monolithic. <laughs> you said we're not. We're not. We're not. Excuse me. Thanks for the correction. Speaking of that, like there's another myth and please feel, I'm just naming off all these myths. Yeah. Go, Go ahead. ahead, cut me off. Go oh no, no, no! I'm not trying to get you off. But no, I do please have do one. it because I've just that been there's rattling. only that there there has to be roles inside oh, of gay relationships. That's a good one, like a man and woman. Oh, um, that I is like that. when somebody asks, "So who's the yeah. man? Who's the woman? Bitch, we're both men. Okay, right. I got a dick. He got a dick. That's oh. why I like him." Oh. <laughs> 
Like what? He got an ass. I got an ass. Right. He got a fat ass. I like it. I got a fat ass. <laughs> we, both, <laughs> you know, like we both have fun. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. no, 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 no. That's that, true. Yeah. But that's no. That's like a pet no. Of mine. You know, uh, people will find like, that the people can be verse. You right. know, there's mm-hmm. there's top, there's bottoms, there's verse. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people you perceive as what's the top. Uh, Top is a person that's more dominant in the sexual roles. In a sexual role. Yeah. Because tops are not always the so more dominant. That, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's okay. why I asked that because tops are not always the most okay, dominant. Okay, they're the one. They uh, the sexual roles. I so hate, I get you that. know, I hate I would just say, that. I really Tops asked, is the one that I, put it in. Okay. Okay. Just to clarify. Because, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Finish. I don't want to talk about it now. No, go no, ahead. Yeah, yeah, please no, do. I don't want to talk about it now. What? I'll talk about it. No, no, no. I'll say, I'll say. Ray is a freak in the Bottoms are the one that receive, you know. Penetration mm-hmm. and um, verse is either or the freaks. Yeah. So <laughs> tops is the one that fucks the bottoms in the ass, and then the bottoms are the ones that get, get the dick in the, the ass. ass. Uh, and that's what you're saying. Verse or, or do both. Are the freaks. Okay. Well, there's so, levels yeah. to verse as well. There there's are what? levels to verse. But that's gonna confuse be, y'all. Yeah, just verse, top, bottom, verse, top, bottom, <laughs> bottom, bottom. <laughs> but yeah. So, but yeah, I do want to just just I just want to cl- clarify a little bit when you're saying that about tops supposed mm-hmm. to be you know, the more dominant yeah. or anything. I don't think that's personally that's, fair. I mean, true. I, I Poor choice of words. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You have to take it back. I'm just saying, <laughs> no, 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 I no, personally no. don't think that's what, fair. But, I know, because yeah. I was actually going to explain it on the other way. Like, I was going to say that sometimes you, you can perceive people as bottoms, mm-hmm. and then they tell you, I also want to penetrate you, you know? Yeah. But then that's... that's I think that's, that's what people get, get confused. Like, people, when they ask who's the man and who's the woman in a relationship, yeah. they feel yeah. like the bottom is the woman and the yeah. top is the man. But and sometimes it's not just sex. It's not just sex. Like, or a masculine yeah. They feminine. just think, like, one person is more, you know, like... Yeah, just like masculine or feminine. Yeah. yeah. If, if you see two, co- if you see a couple and one is more masculine than the feminine one, I think they're already going to automatically assume like that's that the, the one, one that's, that's the masculine is yeah. the one that's giving it and the one that's feminine is the one that's receiving it. I'm going to let y'all know right now that is not always the case. Yeah. Not the case at all. I mean, that's, I mean, I would say that's obvious, but I mean, that's people, definitely not people the case. People think, yeah, that's not well, always people, the case When you're looking from the outside and you're not really in the community, a lot of people just don't really know. Even if you yeah. think that is obvious it's, to them, it's yeah. not because they're, they're yeah. not even really trying to know. They yeah. just assume and they run just with just it. Assume, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. So we're here to tell you right now, do not assume because <laughs> that dude that, and to be honest with you, and there's no disrespect, no shade, but the dude that you see, you know, in the beauty salon doing your hair and talking about girl this and sis this and Kiki and Lala with you, he's not necessarily getting fucked. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Sis, he's definitely not receiving it, but he could be putting it down. Right, down to the knee. <laughs> down to the knee. He'd be, be putting down it to the down. Kneecap. And, he, and also, he could be putting it down on somebody that's like, yo, what's up, ma? <laughs> so don't get it twisted. He's right. not necessarily putting it down on somebody that's just like him. They're very masculine he bottoms. could definitely be putting it down on a masculine bottom mm. that you know is into that type of thing. So very true. At the end of it all, we're we're both men in yeah. the relationship, and I love that. Yeah. I love. I mean, me personally speaking on that, that's why I bought it up. Is because I'm really for having things be equal in a relationship and realizing that we're both men and you that can we cook both, for me. I can cook for exactly. You. We we both do the same thing. Like I mean. Oh, that's I mean to be honest with you that's just everything to me if I find somebody that's on that, that t- on my same level and when talking about bringing stuff to the table or what I like to do like mm-hmm. that's like the idea I- ideal like situation for me and there are gender queer people so I don't want to negate them from that I hate having to be PC sometimes but <laughs> there are gender queer people so we do want to recognize that and that they're not <laughs> they don't that. always recognize they don't always um, identify as a man so that's a, another topic within itself yes um, but we're specifically talking about men that identify as men. Yeah. So just Absolutely. putting that out there. That was a good question, though, because that uh, people yeah. still think that. Very yeah. true. Like, I know my family even still think that. Like, so which one are you? Like, are you yeah. the one But you have to, man? you know, a lot of people try to get the information from media, and mm-hmm. media is so far behind on teaching y'all. Yeah. Because it goes to what you already know, so you can yeah. act like it's a story you know already. You yeah. Know? Yeah. We all like the shop. Yeah, or we're all like fashion oriented. Like we 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 know the fashions and we love Madonna and or even you, like we're all materialistic. I yeah, mean, that goes into that as well. We like yeah. to shop materialistic, like yeah. into like fashion and, I, and every oh, 
we all want to be models and singers right. and everything like that. Yeah, that's not me. No, mm. I don't think that covers everybody. <laughs> that's not. I, I don't. I wear the same thing. I see it a lot, week. especially yeah, living in happens. LA. Mm-hmm. I went to a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm trying to be a model. Or I'm trying to be a singer. Like, I mean, you could be whatever. You could do whatever you mm. want to do. So yeah, I do see it a lot, but it's not. It's not the masses. It's not the masses. It's not. It's all just of because us. those are the people that are front and center because they yeah. put themselves. They Absolutely. put themselves yeah. front and center. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones that. Some are, of us just work in accounting <laughs> you know what I'm saying it, I, I, I rotate my same little outfits every week yeah. you know like I don't I hate shopping I mm. hate it with a passion and I hate I don't hate Madonna as a person but I don't listen to Madonna I don't like I, like I mean shopping. I love Beyonce but yeah. I guess I fall in line with that but mm. oh, oh that's yeah. another oh, one not too. all gays love Beyonce <laughs> not all gays love I know Beyonce. several who don't one. yeah I know, I, know, I, know, I know a few how could you not like Beyonce right like? Like they yeah. really, I mean, you could not necessarily, I guess, like her music in a sense. I mean, it's not your thing. Yeah. But it's just like. But you can't. Like, you have to. You have to kind of like have her. an appreciate and respect yeah. her for, for like her ethic, her work ethic, and her grind, right. and just the people. Ugh. Like you said, people just want to do that. Just go to, against the just grind. Just go against the grain. Grain. Um, come on, go against the grind. Against the grinder. Uh, grinder. <laughs> baby, grind on me. Do you have any other ones? I can't think of any on the top of my head right now, but I know they're. Probably oh yeah, there's similar. a lot. Like, there's definitely like a lot. you have to, like only gay people have HIV and AIDS. Mm-hmm. You know what that's I'm saying? That's really, really good one right there. And too. And that's not the case. Mm-hmm. While that is a very serious topic, mm-hmm. you know, that is not the case. That's not the case. Yeah, like we're not running around the only people, and not not every single one of us have that, have yeah. that disease. You know what I'm yeah. saying? No, like, absolutely. And that's really in part. I mean, that's really important to put out there as well because. I feel like a lot of people, like, to be honest with you, I, and this is taken in a, di- a different step, I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of females, like, sex, uh, excuse me, a lot of women, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot, we had a full-blown conversation we about did. this in, in Philly. Philadelphia. We were, we're both in a, drunk. We were in the basement of a club. <laughs> we were in the basement of the club, both tipsy as fuck, and just going back and forth for, like, about 30 minutes and, and females. about females and women and everything, and we just forgot all about the club for, like, 30 minutes. Right. I was like, well, he had to reel me back in, because, you know, I get passionate. We have to really tell them back in. Yeah, (laughs) I was just going on and on, but that's another conversation. I was saying is some women (laughs) are, are you know, some women tend to be probably scared Mm -hmm. of you know sleeping with men and everything like. Or even say for example, there's a woman that knows about somebody that is uh, bisexual, Mm -hmm. or she finds out later Mm -hmm. that this man is bisexual and she slept with him. Like her instant reaction is thinking that she may have have something or everything Um, like that. go to the hospital it's like I mean granted go get checked it's important to go yeah, get checked yeah. go get tested if you're like, sexually active that. no matter your orientation you no need to get tested no matter how your orientation frequently. but just because you found out that he's bisexual doesn't mean that you need to rush to the hospital faster if you if you did, if he wasn't bisexual if he was you need to go to the hospital just as fast if he was heterosexual as well right so that's one thing as so well that's not the case not the case at all um, but you know it's all a learning lesson and I feel like the 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 more um, people, the more that you know, being gay in the LGBTQ uh, community becomes more accepting in society. Um, there will be discussions like this that are had, more yeah. information that are put out. So I believe from ten years from now, uh, my nephew will be seventeen, which is crazy. But ten years from now, it's going to be a way better accepting place mm-hmm. for people to live and not necessarily have to carry on these conversations to debuke these m- myths and everything like yeah. that. Ten years from debunk. Mm. We definitely shouldn't have to uh, <laughs> debuke. Have this, yeah, no, <laughs> debuke. We definitely, like, I'm tired, child. I'm having all these words. I, I feel you. It's, but we definitely shouldn't uh, have to have this conversation 10 years yeah, from now. But at the same not. time, we but may be, it. too. But, but we're having know, it, and that's, yeah. that's the important thing, because people need to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they don't know, they're going to remain ignorant, and, and they're going to... That's important. It's like for us to do the work, because really, the reason why we got here is because we weren't people were not having those conversations. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody was just believing things that are put on the internet or believing stuff that was put in media and not actually talking to someone that's in that community because right. you feel like you already know everything they're going through. Mm-hmm. So it goes to say that some people can really like call themselves your friends, but they don't know anything that's going on in your life. Right. Or looking at you as that token gay friend. Oh, exactly. See. But yeah, if y'all have any other uh, th- questions, uh, concerns, concerns, please chop bring my them head up. off from this <laughs> females. Like this is, this is the word, bitch. <laughs> Just let me know because y'all ain't going to chop his head off. Fuck. But you're not going to chop his head off. And you're not going to chop his head off because you got to see 
me and oh, Ray Bay first. The oh, fuck? Bloop. Okay, come on. Ray's like, uh-uh, I have a job to go. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'm no, just kidding. No, I'll fight for you. I know, boo. I got yeah. your back, and, and Ray Bay is Haitian. I mean, okay. Why is that? Like, gonna bring see, out a machete. Now you gonna make us too? Okay. <laughs> Ray gonna bring I do own one, one. but got the, got the <laughs> see, he own one. See, you make me. You might make all Haitians sound crazy. Hey, all Haitians are not crazy. We're not generalizing like they do us. Mm. PC alert! PC alert! My best friend is Haitian, <laughs> and he's not crazy. Oh, he's definitely no. Not. He crazy. Shout yeah, he is Stephane. crazy. He's a Scorpio. <laughs> you know, Scorpio. Shout answer. out to Stefan doing his thing. Best I friend. Miss you. Oh, watch shits and giggles on uh, Instagram. I do want to <laughs> yes. give him that shout out because he definitely supports us a lot. So he I does. Watch shits and giggles. Look, his name is Stefan O'Shea on Instagram. Understand. Look him up. Watch his shits and giggles. Absolutely. Everything. You would it's die. really, really, it's not. It's really, really cry. funny. Like it's genuinely <laughs> funny. Like yeah. Yeah. But um Yeah, that's that was it. a great conversation. It was. I Her appreciate usual. us doing this. Yeah. Like that was a great idea. We love y'all and thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yeah. And we will talk to y'all again very soon. Look out coming. for those segments. I'll talk to y'all soon. soon.